I've just finished one row of slipped stitches and right now we are gonna make a brim. I'm continuing with 28 round. I will continue making increases in every row. Basically we will use the same principle that we used for crown. Okay, let's start. First of all, we need to make six single crochet. Right now we are making normal, usual single crochets. Then we are making one increase. And after that, we are making six more single crochets. Then we need to repeat these five more times. And at the end of this round, we'll have 84 single crochets. Let's start 29th round. We are making one increase. And after that we need to make 13 single crochets. Then I need to repeat this five more times and at the end of this round I will have 90 single crochets. So I'm gonna explain you the principle of increases uh, of our brim. And after that you could decide yourself how wide uh, you would like your brim to be. And uh, it depends on how many rows, how many rounds you will crochet. The more rounds you crochet, the wider brim you will have at the end. Of course, I will tell you uh, how many rounds I did. In the next 30th round, we need to make seven single crochets, then one increase, and then seven single crochets. You need to repeat these five more times and at the end of that round you will have 96 single crochets. Uh, you need to make six increases in each round. The most important is to change the place where we uh, make our increases. So in every round you will have different places of where you're making your increases. If you have a round where between two increases you have the number of uh, single crochets that are not divided by two, you start your round with one increase and then you are making your single crochets and then again you are making your increase. And if you have a round where your number of single crochets between two increases divided by two so you divide this number by two and start your round with this number of single crochets then you make your increase and then repeat that number of single crochets and after that repeat these uh, five more times to the end of the round so the main principle to make the round very smooth and look uh, and looking good you need to change the place of your increases so change the place of your increases and you will have really smooth and nice round and using this principle you crochet as many rows as you wish uh, my advice is to try always this hat on yourself and look whether you like the uh, whether you like it or not, how wide uh, you would like your brim to be, uh, make it wider or less wider. So it all depends on your preference. Okay, my dear friends, uh, I have really good news. Um, it seems that I like uh, how wide my brim uh, looks like right now. I've just finished 16 rounds. 16 rounds goes to the brim. So I was crocheting from 28th to 43rd round.
And right now I have uh, 174 single crochets in the last round. In the last round, I made one increase and then 27 single crochets. And right now I'm gonna finish in the hat. I need to make two more rounds and I will show you how to strengthen the edge. For this, I will use simple fishing line that I took from my dad. Unfortunately, it is very hard to see it right now, but believe me, I have a fishing line here. Uh, this fishing line was uh, so twisted because it was um, in the bobbin. So I decided to make it more straight. And what I did, so I took a pan and boiled uh, water and then I holded the fishing line right above the pan when it was uh, when the water was boiling and that helped to straight the fishing line then i measured the circumference of the brim and cut the fishing line using that measurements but uh, make sure to leave a little bit more maybe a couple of inches or five centimeters uh, just in case okay let's start making this uh, finishing rounds. So you need to take your uh, fishing line and put it right on your brim. And we are going to make the normal uh, single crochet round, but in this round I'm not gonna make any increases. So this will help to make it smooth and really really good. So don't make any increases in this round. Okay, I almost finished this round. And here I have two edges of um, my fishing line. I have around 10 single crochets to finish this uh, round. And here these two uh, fishing line edges overlay each other. And that's not a problem at all. I will put these two edges together and continue my single crochets. And after that, I could be sure that these two edges will not move, will not disappear and nothing bad happen. Uh, for strengthening your edge, you also could use, uh, for example, metal wire. And you could use your fishing line together with uh, metal wire that will uh, help to strengthen the edges much much more what i did um, i strengthened the brim with the fishing line in one round and in the last round i used uh, this metal wire but you could um, put them together or as i did uh, put them in separate rounds and don't make any increases uh, in these two uh, rounds. Okay, right now I need to break the yarn and then to weave in ends. Uh, you could hide this end using the same crochet hook. Uh, there is nothing hard with it. Uh, you just um, insert your hook somewhere close to the end, grab the end and pull it to the and pull it through the hole. So I'm using the same principle uh, of securing the ends as I use for, as I usually use for uh, normal yarn. The same method I could use uh, for raffia as well. Okay, so we are finishing um, crocheting of our head. And right now I will show you how to steam this hat and how to make uh, how to make this hat looking really really good uh, to steam the brim there is no secret for that uh, you just use your iron and on steam mode but make sure uh, not to put your iron very very close to the hat because this is raffia it is a paper so in order not to, to burn it. Don't put your iron very, very close. Uh, move the iron maybe half of inch above the raffia. So just steam it. 
To be honest, I used iron satin uh, that fits for cotton. Um, this is the biggest iron satin that I have on my iron and there is no problem with my hat at all. Just uh, make sure not to touch uh, the raffia with your iron. And I used this ironing starch, uh, which uh, comes in spray, which is really, really useful. Uh, I bought it on Amazon and I will uh, post a link uh, in the description box below. I've just followed the instructions of this uh, starch and there is no problem with my raffia at all. So this is the end of our crocheting part and right now you could decorate your hat as you wish. You could use any ribbons, uh, colored ribbons you could use, flowers you could use, uh, pom-poms, you could use anything you like. So that's all that I wanted to tell you today. Please leave your comments if you have any questions on how to crochet this raffia or if you have any other comments to me, I will definitely uh, reply to them. I hope that uh, you will easily crochet really cool summer hats and you will really like them. Please like and subscribe this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.